ahead on Fox News now, two years after the death of Mother Teresa, a whole bunch of little Teresas have pop cropped up. We're going to talk about how these do-gooders are keeping her legacy alive. And could you... may be hard to believe, but two years ago today, Mother Teresa died. Though she is gone, her work is not forgotten. Joining me now is Dr. K.A. Paul. He's the president of the Global Peace Initiative. It's a program designed to recruit and train the followers of Mother Teresa. Welcome. Thank you. It seems like it was just yesterday. Yes, yes. Uh, I am so glad that you would take time to remember her legacy and the work uh, she has done and uh, what we are doing today. Well, what is so fantastic is the Global Peace Initiative and what it is trying to do. You've got literally tens of thousands of people who want to follow in her footsteps. Precisely what do you do there at the Global Peace Initiative? Basically, we have a training program. During my crusades in the evenings, we have tens of thousands of people that attend and blessed and lives are transformed. But during the evening, I give an opportunity particularly for those women who are neglected, who are not cared, who are unloved, who feel they don't have anybody because most of them either their husbands died or most of them can't get married if they are young people. And uh, most of them have children but they don't care. So they feel like committing suicide, these precious women. They really commit suicide, especially in a country like India and Nepal, in African countries where there is no hope. They take their life. So I ask them, why don't you come in the morning? I will talk to you. Out of these tens of thousands of people, anywhere from 500 to 25,000 women just to come who have already made up their mind to take their lives. And you cannot believe how broken they are, how desperately looking for some help in their situation. Then during preaching of the gospel, but afterwards I deal with them hours and hours together with my associates who give them hope that there is hope and the value of life. Now, where do you recruit? How do you go about recruiting the people to become these little Teresas? Basically, that's what we do. I travel all over the world, 57 countries, doing crusades. During my evening crusades, we have a special program. After I preach, after people get saved, and I tell them to come tomorrow morning at 9, between 9 a.m. till 2 p.m., sometimes 4 p.m. Matter of fact, Mrs. Vander Holyfield and many other women traveled with me from this country, Mrs. Edwin Rogers and others. They were shocked how these women come with tears, broken hearts, uh, can't speak up, can't tell their need to anybody. But then when they are ministered, they know the value of life. First of all, I teach them. And life. these are the, are you saying these are the women who become the little Teresa? Absolutely. These are the women who were neglected, not cared by anybody in this world. Practically, I do teach them that there is one, God cares for them. That's fantastic. And then their lives are transformed. They, they, they make a commitment before they leave about 2 p.m. that never they will ever take their life. Then I teach them about life of Mother Teresa, how wonderful she was able to be a blessing to others and teaching to others. Dr. Paul, it's a terrific program. Now you have some, a couple of, uh, well, you tell me, how many followers do you have in India? In yeah. India, we have a little over 10,000 little terraces. 10,000 yes, full of time. Them. We train them. We give them free training. We give them... These are mostly widows. Terrific. Like Mother Teresa. Now, where does the money come from for this enormous program? Money comes from individual donors mostly. Uh, we, you can't even imagine. We train them for $3 From all month. over the world? Yeah. $30. Mostly from America. From the United States. And uh, individuals support dollar a day, $30 a month. Well, and we can train them. So the good thing with the locals nationals they know the language culture custom and they are right there to fantastic. be trained and to go and uh, it's speak a, the message of love and hope it is a fantastic program thank you so much for joining us today dr paul thank that's you. all the time we have thank you for having me